Hey, what's up guys? My name is Cherno. I'm in Germany right now and it is extremely bright out here and also very hot. But welcome back to another vlog. Today I thought we'd talk about what programming language you should learn first. It's a question that I tend to get pretty often from people who are trying to get into programming and are not sure what they should do in the very beginning. I did make a vlog about a year ago about just in general how to actually learn programming. Definitely check that out, it'll be in the top right corner if you haven't already. But this is just gonna be more about like what I think should be your first language um, because it's all great to talk about how to actually, like the concepts behind learning programming, what I think is the best thing to do in terms of how to learn programming, but what is step one? Like, which language should you pick and which language should you start with? What should you actually do? So first of all, I just want to mention that this is going to be a complete, like as, all, as pretty much all my videos, this is just my opinion. It's just a complete opinion piece, if you will. It's not any kind of fact, it's not backed by anything. It's kind of my experience and just talking about my thoughts, really. So don't like, don't, don't think that this is definitely the right choice for you and that this is like some kind of like, objective fact. This is just what I think. And really, I think that it doesn't matter. So, I know that a lot of you are probably annoyed because I'm not giving you a straight answer, but it's kind of... I guess that is the answer. It doesn't really matter what programming language you start with, because programming languages are not in the big picture of things. It's not really what your goal is to learn. Like, when I set out to learn programming, I don't really set out to learn a programming language, because a programming language is just the tool that you use to program a computer, right? Computers are these complex things that do many, many different things. And a programming language is just something you can use to actually tell the computer what to do. Now, there are a lot of programming languages out there. Um, and the one that is kind of, I guess, fit for you or fit for the job that you're working on, fit for the project that you're working on, is going to depend on that project and also on you and just the scale of it and just a lot of, your, a lot of different things. So I can't just say, learn you know, C++ or learn Java. That's the best language to start with because that doesn't make any sense. You can't, just, you can't just pick one language and go with it. That's not how it works. Picture, picture this kind of like building a house. If you're a builder building a house, would you really be hung up on which like brand of power tools you want to use to build a house? That doesn't really matter, does it? You, what you actually need to know is how to build the house. And then the power tools that you use are just a tool that you use to actually construct that house. And furthermore, I guess, to extend that analogy, if you were building a house, you wouldn't want a screwdriver, would you? You would want, like, power tools. And if you were, on the flip side, if you were building something small, you wouldn't necessarily want massive power tools, because that could just wreck the whole thing. I mean, it might work, but it might wreck the whole thing. Um, and it definitely wouldn't be as easy and as good as if you just used a little kind of tiny screwdriver and you'd be fine. So. That kind of is the same as what programming is like and what software engineering is like. You want to pick the best tool for the job and it's way more important that you actually realize how computers work and how to build the thing that you are building, how to build a software that you are building and how that architecture kind of all works than actually to pick a programming language and say, that's it, I'm gonna just learn C++ and that's gonna be it. I'm gonna use C++ for absolutely everything. That's not how it works. I mean, theoretically, you probably could use C++ for pretty much everything. It's so bright out here, seriously. And it's funny, I didn't bring any sunglasses with me for this like little vlog here, because I was like, ah, it's cloudy outside, it's gonna be fine, it's gonna be like, it's raining all morning, I'll be right. Anyway, the point is, <laughs> you, can't, you can't get hung up on programming languages, because in your life, you won't be, you won't just be programming in C++. You won't just be programming in C-sharp or Java, probably. You could pick an extremely narrow specialty, I guess, and just kind of slowly be that person who only knows C++ but knows it really well. But that's both boring and also in the real world, I don't think I've ever met a software engineer who just knew one language. Or even maybe, well, preferred to just programming in one, in one language and that's it and said no to absolutely everything else. That doesn't exist because it, as a programmer, as a software engineer, you build software and building software requires various languages, not just one language. So if we kind of get back to, I guess, the point of what it is you should learn first, I think that it depends on what you want to immediately do right now. 
So what is your goal right now? Why are you learning programming? Are you, do, do you just want to be able to tell computers what to do and build software and build like GUI tools to process data or whatever? Are you trying to make a game? Are you trying to build web applications or websites? What is it right now that you want to do straight away? The first thing you want to do. If the answer is a game, that's I guess mildly complicated because you could build a game in literally any language because a game is whatever you define a game to be. I mean, a game is just an interactive application with maybe some kind of goal, right? That's all a game really is. So you can really just build that. I mean, you don't even need a computer to build that, right? You could build a game just with like a board game or something like that. A game is really, really, you know, loosely defined. So it's, so you, I mean, if you want to build a game, you could really use any language. But suppose you wanted to like build a website or something, well, maybe you should learn JavaScript, right? If you wanted to build iOS apps specifically, maybe learn Swift. If you want to build Android applications specifically, maybe learn Java. If you want to build, if you want to get into a AAA game studio and build game engines, then well, maybe learn C++. Right? It doesn't really matter what language you pick first because you definitely won't be stuck with that language for life unless you choose to. I'm not sure you wouldn't. You won't be a successful software engineer if you only know one language. It does, doesn't exist. So get that idea out of your head if you if that's in your head. Um, but the, the, the moral of the story is that don't get hung up on this. Pick a language that is kind of, I guess, something that you want to do now. So again, if, if, if you're kind of, if you want to eventually get into AAA games or whatever, or whatever it is that you want to do, but right now you just want to build a website quickly, or you think that maybe it'll be easier to build a website, then learn JavaScript or learn like, I don't know, PHP, what are, what are the kids using these days to build websites? Probably like Node.js or something, so JavaScript again. Like, just learn one of those things. Um, because really the idea is, is actually programming, actually building things using, actually building software. And that you can kind of do in any language. So pick something, stick with it, and then slowly as time goes on, you'll naturally start to add other languages. I need to leave right now because I'm melting out here. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what your thoughts are in, uh, in the comment section below in regards to kind of what you think um, a good good advice would be for a beginner who's asking what programming language to learn. I mean, this that's just my advice. It doesn't really matter. I learned Java first because I wanted to kind of build really small kind of applications or games um, that were like kind of pixel based and just people were using Java at the time for that kind of thing and there was a lot of resources available but then as soon as I kind of got into game engines which was very quickly actually I immediately switched to C++ and picked that up it was really hard at the beginning but I still kind of switched to it and picked that up because I knew that that would be the future right for me because I knew that if I wanted to build game engines I need to use whatever everyone in the world is using to build game engines which is C++ and of course now I work at EA on core technology in the Frostbite division building game engines in C++ right so there you go um, that being said, yeah, leave your comments in the comment section below. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Follow me on Instagram, instagram.com forward slash the channel. Um, I'll be kind of documenting all my travels and stuff. I'm in Germany for about four weeks. Um, I'll be traveling around Europe in general. So definitely check out my Instagram because there'll be uh, tons of sweet content there and you can stay up to date that way. Um, let me know let me know other thoughts for vlogs and questions that you want answered because since I am on the road I'm probably not going to sit down and make any formal like C++ series videos or OpenGL videos like that because it's going to be hard for me to actually sit down with a laptop and record stuff but kind of just quick vlogs here and there are really fun um, and also uh, are kind of part of my travels anyway. So drop some comments below as to what you want to see and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.